Alright guys, the other day I bought one of these little uh, Superstar hand microphones. These things are $20, maybe. I think I paid $20 for this at the uh, local Radio Shack. It just says Superstar. Some of them might say Galaxy. Uh, I think Galaxy packages this mic with uh, their radios and they just replaced this little uh, Superstar label with one that says Galaxy. But it's the same microphone. It says DM507-4M on the back of it. Uh... I picked one of these up because I've had one before and either broke them or gave them away and I, I just like the way these little microphones sound. They're a stock microphone. They don't require a battery or anything of that nature. They're just a good sounding stock microphone. Uh, and I bought this four pin. Didn't bother uh, paying real close attention, but it's not a Cobra four pin and I've got a Cobra radio sitting over here. So we're going to have to rewire this guy for Cobra 4-pin. It's right, right now it's, it's wired for Midland 4-pin. So let me show you what that means. All right, so all right, we got our, our test station up here. So if we put it on, uh, by the way, this is a Superstar T747 microphone tester. Uh, if I can find an Amazon link, I'll give you guys an affiliate link and put it in the description to buy this thing. Uh, but basically it's got all these different connectors for different microphones. So you can see we've got uh, 4-pin Cobra slash President and 4-pin Midland. So if I plug it into 4-pin Midland, receive light comes on, all right, we key up, it transmits, audio check one, two, so 4-pin Midland. We put it in 4-pin Cobra, and our TX light comes on, but it's weak, and keying up. <laughs> See, it's, it's wired up sort of backwards. So we're going to go ahead and wire this guy up correctly for 4-pin Cobra. Alright, so the first order of business here is just to remove the end connector here and uh, and get the wires exposed. You can see here on the end here, I had some grease on there forever ago, uh, that the pins in the connector are labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's going to be how we identify which wire goes to which pin for this to work on a Cobra radio instead of a Midland one. these two So now that we've got the wire loose and all these screws out, the connector should just kind of just like that. And then we can slide back our little sleeve here and we can start unsoldering these wires. We may be able to just... Okay. Okay, connector is free. So as you can see here in the owner's manual for the Cobra 148, it actually gives you the wiring order for uh, microphones. So you see pin one needs to be the ground, pin two, audio lead, pin three, transmit control, and pin four is receive control. All right, so We've got the tip off here, so let's look at something here. We've got our element. We have the red wire coming from it to this top one here. So we know that's the audio wire because it's coming directly out of the element itself. So let's go ahead and clamp onto that. And then one of these wires down here at the end is going to have very little resistance when we're keyed up. All right, so let's go ahead. And it's going to have an open circuit when we let off, all right? All right, so let's key up first and find the wire that has a 
there's white wire and we let off very little okay so let's check the other wires uh, all right so white wire is definitely the audio okay so our audio lead is white All right, so the black lead from the element is our ground. It goes to the same post as the shield here. So that tells us that we know shield is ground. All right, let's check. Uh... So now the only thing we need to know is transmit and receive control. We've accounted for white and shield. So let's go ahead and clamp onto black here. All right, let's find the black has continuity with the shield right now. Does it have continuity with anything else? Some in itself, obviously, but it has continuity with the shield. All right. Well, let's go down here so we can make sure we're okay. So now, when we key up, this should break. All right. So that tells us black is our receive control. And red then has to be our transmit control, which means one is white, two is shield, three is red. I mean, one is shield, two is white, three is red, four is black. All right, so now we can take these off here, turn off the multimeter, clean up our mess, put the back back on the microphone, and start soldering it together the correct way. See, number two is the bottom one here, so let's angle it so that that one is facing up. All right, so number two is white, so let's go ahead here. I got that one on. back over here. Alright, so let's test it before we put it all back together. So we should be able to uh, turn this on. And when we put it, first plug this in, it should say RX right here. All right, we have receive. Audio check one, two, three, four, five. And we have rewired our four pin Midland to be a four pin Cobra microphone. Slide that there. Slide this guy up and on here. Slide that back up into where it's supposed to be. So let's test it again. All assembled here. We plug it into the four pin Cobra port. We have receive. Audio check one, two, three, four. All right. So now we can test it on an actual radio. So let's plug her in here. Not 
mics up. Right, we have receive. We're on AM. Right, let's try a single sideband here. We can see our modulation good. Audio check one, two, three, four. So one thing you might rightfully wonder about is how do you know it actually sounds good if there's uh, nobody on the air to audio check you? Or even if, what if you just want to hear it for yourself? I've got a little no elec uh, software defined radio receiver connected to my scanner antenna outside and connected to my PC here, which is running uh, Cubic SDR on Ubuntu Linux. And so I've got it set to 20, uh, 27.365 upper sideband. And uh, so we're going to give ourselves a little audio check here, see if we can't avoid feedback and see how we sound. Audio, audio check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds like we're a little off frequency. Audio. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Audio. So we're about point zero 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 one megahertz uh, off frequency. Uh, this radio does drift a little bit, and I haven't been talking on it today, so it would probably recenter itself right back on 27365 if I sat down and talked on it for five minutes. So let's try it on AM here. So let's try AM. Now AM, I'm a little bit more worried about feedback, but we'll give it a shot here anyway. Audio, check one, two, three, four, five. So, working good. All right, so we rewired the mic. Everything is uh, working and sounding good. If you guys have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, uh, or suggestions uh, regarding this video or future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, this is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one.